that's supposedly coming into the over here give me a second y'all Mevo wanted to do an update on me nothing I can do about that Mevo is like I'm not gonna let you use me unless you do an update on me I said okay fine I'll do an update on you um hope everybody's doing well I am just trying to get the video up lots of bugs outside the window right now I keep hearing them now that I've got the bright light hi Miss Sandy now that I have this huge bright light going on up oh, okay there we go all right let's get this thing going I'm gonna click on the video so I can see y'all's comments Hello, hi Miss Kathy and Shirley and Mary Betty Lou, Joy. Hi ladies, how are you? On this wonderful evening, right? Awesome, I'm gonna give everybody a few seconds. I had to post an update on there. Mevo was trying to get an update going. Um, kinda had to wait for that, had no choice on that because let's face it, you kinda wanna do the uh, quality on the Mevo. It, it's much better than the quality that's on the phone. So I don't want to subject to y'all subject y'all to that again. <laughs> Hello ladies, how are you? Why are you in pain, Kathy? Oh, to move the bedroom to get the carpet fixed? Girl, don't you know that's what your husband's for? Get him to do all the work. <laughs> um I actually took the day off today, mainly not because I wanted to, but because I originally thought I had pink eye, but as you can see, I'm wearing my contacts, so I don't have pink eye, but we did get an explanation as to some of the weird stuff that's been going on, um, and apparently I have what they call retinal migraines, um, so yeah, apparently that was fun to learn today. I'm like, I have no idea what that means. I know a retina's in the eyeball somewhere, but that's it, you know? Um, no glaucoma, so that's good. But um, no, so that they've, I've got to keep up with a few more things and potentially go back to see my PCP. Sounds like a drug, but it's not. Um, so we'll see how all that goes. Something about a like a blood vessel shutting down or something like I don't know. Oh well, who knows? All that doctor language is beyond me, or I'd wait, make a whole lot more money. All right, ladies. All right, I am having the same issue as last time where I don't get to see my comments. So let me try going back to this page right here. A sympathetic nerve block this morning. Hello, Sheila from Mississippi. Hi, bye. Linda, hello, ladies. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. Ladies, please feel free to share. Um, I absolutely love this patriotic rose that we're going to be doing tonight. Um, and it is so easy and you can play with the placement of the blue to get it how you want it to swirl how you want it um you know but i'm, I'm just going to kind of base this off the way that i did my last one hopefully um and here's why i say hopefully um as y'all know i had tons of the old boards which were wooden so a lot of these creations that i'm making now um, I'm making them for the very first time on the new board. So it's, it's you know, it's a little bit of a learning curve right there occasionally um, just because I have to change the placements. But I think I got the placement down good. So I think we're okay. Um, we're going to go ahead. Hello, Gwendolyn. Yes, ladies, definitely feel free to share. Send some likes and love my way. I'll take some alcohol too. Anyway, moving right along. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this going right here, and then I'm going to move the camera down in just a second. I think that's about enough time for everybody to get going. I always like to give it about two inches up here at the top. So, have y'all ever tried paracord? Um, I was looking at that today, and because I absolutely love the jute, um, don't get me wrong, but I was checking out the paracord in the tool section today, so y'all know what else I was looking at today. And um, that stuff seems pretty sturdy. I'm gonna try putting a couple of um, wreaths using paracord on here, especially if you've got that twisting motion or something else. Um, I was trying to find it in red, white, and blue though, because I was, I was planning on doing another live this weekend on the sunflower. So, ah, uh, thank you so much, Joanne. Yes, I know it is a bit, hi Janet. How are you, sweetheart? Um, I'm so glad y'all popped in. Okay. 
let's get the show on the road because honestly this is not going to take that incredibly long it's not that hard to do if you've made a rose before um, where i think the placements are going to go we're going to see if that works out in practice so let's go ahead and get the camera moved down okay See, I'm, I'm learning all this, guys. All right, we're gonna, oh, hold up. Well, most of the time I'm learning it. How do I make it bigger? Ha ha, score, got that. Okay, <laughs> I think I did it, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flip this around right now. So I've already preset this with the zip ties. And the only time I leave the zip ties open is when I'm doing the ruffle method. Um, but since we're just kind of putting the rose tips in here, it's easier just to go ahead and have them set up in advance. So here's my plan for tonight, y'all. Okay. Aw, Susan, Susie, I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Um, so here is my plan for tonight. Um, I like a crescent moon shape personally when it comes to the blue. It, it's completely up to every individual. So here is my thinking. I'm thinking that everywhere that I put a blue dot, I'm gonna put a blue. And then here, notice that I let it go over one more time, okay? And then I've got the blue dot up here as well. So that's, that's the theory. So I've got here going around. Here, um, where is it? Here it comes over one more, see? And then over here, the plan is to start right here where the leaves would normally go. Um, because in the old board, I used the very outside circle. So that's kind of what I want to do this time around as well. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. I have been spray painting again. Yes, I have. Yeah, it, isn't it sexy? I have just said, you know what? Who wants a manicure or pedicure? I do a great job. Yeah. I've also been in the garden today a little bit, trying to just kind of clear my head and all that other good junk. So, all right, so I've already made some of the outside pieces. And when I made this, it's just a 10 inch, by the way, hi, Miss Lori, how are you? Um, I spray paint everything, y'all. I didn't spray paint the board though, right? I meant to spray paint the center red. <clears throat> That's okay, we can make it work. All right, so this is just a regular 10 inch roll. I cut it to nine inches, nothing different. Um, and I went ahead and just put the very, very tippy top into the very tippy end here into the zip tie, my four inch zip tie. And because what I wanna do is I wanna be able to tuck these in so I don't want the bottom popping out. So let's see in theory if this is going to work the way I want it to work. So I'm gonna start up here just because I'm a top person myself, all right? And I'm just gonna place this here because, where's my red and white? Let's get here. Okay, I think I want red to go right up here. All right, so that means this end is gonna get tucked into there. And then if I put this blue over here, it's gonna get tucked into there too. So that's why I said you don't wanna just start putting everything down immediately, okay? So I'm gonna go for this guy first. We're gonna put the tip into the hole here. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, all y'all people up north <laughs> still getting snow and everything. <laughs> I feel for y'all. <laughs> oh, as I'm laughing, right, and cackling. So, all right, so we're gonna put this into here. All right, there we go. I don't rush through this process too much. All right, where's that little zip tie? There we go. Lori's gonna be like, if you used a six inch zip tie, you wouldn't have a problem. <laughs> so, all right, but no, I've been in the garden today and my face shows it. And if you smelled me right now, that would show it too. But thankfully you can't smell me. So that's a good thing right now. I definitely don't smell like peaches, that's for sure. Um, all right, we're gonna put this one over here. So then that means this is gonna go into here. This is gonna go into here but I want this one to go in the back. I want the red showing more. So, all right, let's get that in there. And this is one of those things you'll have to watch and be careful for. 
some of y'all are getting, um, you know, I have four kits left in the shop. And then after that, um, y'all are going to have to message me because... So, I'm working on the next batch that's going to be going out. <laughs> there we go. Okay, got that one in there. I like, I like to make sure they get there nice and tight. I know. Hi, Lori. Look at her picking up some Spanish there, too. <laughs> All right. Now that we've got this one here... And it's like, this is honestly the longest part of this thing, and I could do it faster, but I'm just taking my time. I enjoy being with y'all. It's fun. And we're just going to stick this one in here. Okay. Hold that down, and let's get our other blue that was over here as well. You're going to have to slide underneath, baby. There we go. I'm talking to the mesh like it understands me. Call me the mesh whisperer. No, not really. All right, here we go. Okay, and let's tighten it up. There we go. It was 84 here today. There we go. Awesome, got that one in there. Okay, let's get the next one. We've got a little blue going in here. All right, so let's set that up, okay, and then we've got a red over here. I gotta make sure I'm not getting off the screen for y'all either. <laughs> Let me see if this light adjusts any. There you go. Does that help y'all a little bit better? I had to move the lighting over a little bit. Okay, so that means the white's gonna go in here and this one's gonna go in there as well, okay? And you could do this a different way. You don't have to do it this way. Um, this is just the way I'm doing it. So I think it's up to the individual and your preference of how you like it and what works for you. That's the great thing about these boards is you can just individualize it and do it the way you want to do it. So speaking of the boards, by the way, um, if you use code SPARKLES, you can take 10% off when you go on to the website. So that'll help there. And the Christmas trees are in as well. So I would stock up on those. I have a feeling those orders are going to start sometime in July. At least I know for me it does. Let me see here. All right, we're going to have to go from behind again. All right. Like I said... I had so many. Actually, Lori, I found one more old board. Old wooden board. Vintage. We can call it vintage now. Um, a vintage one. So, hidden in the recesses of my crafting tubs down below. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Okay, so this one's going to go in here. And then we are going to slide this blue in here. Right in there. Like I said, it's a preference on, on whichever one you decide to go through first. It's okay. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to take this red and slide the red in there as well. And you'll know right away if it's going to go on top or if it's going to go on the bottom. Okay. There we go. And tighten it. I'm going to buy one of those tightener thingies too. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm going to put this in here. But first on my list is I'm finally going to get that glue gun. All right. I'm going to get this guy in here. All right, almost. Like I said, this is the this is the hardest part after this. It is easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, y'all, I had I had um the daughter of a friend of mine um, came over yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. And she built an eight and a half foot tall teepee in my backyard. And it's awesome because I cannot wait to be able to grow things. The plan is for it to be a living teepee. 
um, one that my kids can enjoy, but I can also grow um, beans. And um, I'm gonna plan, I'm transplanting the morning glory, hopefully tomorrow. We're supposed to have a bad storm. An eight and a half foot tall teepee. I've already put all of the, um, I also bought purple, I bought the trail of tear beans from her as well, pole beans. So um, I put those in there as well. So tomorrow, and I got the edging down to hold the soil into place, because anytime you try to grow anything in the state of Georgia, you have to amend that soil or it will not grow. Plain and simple. All right, there we go. All right, and the hardest part, ladies, is finished. Okay, all right, so now that we've got that done, all right, we're gonna move on to the inside row here. Everything's gonna pretty much go pretty quickly at this point. And again, since I've got the blue here, I'm gonna take the blue one more step over in the next row up here. Okay, so I started the blue right here. That means this row, I'm gonna go over one more, and then the next one, I'm going over one more. And everything else is gonna alternate red and white, okay? That's why I'm like, it's not, it's not a complicated thing at all. So, all right, we're gonna get some mesh here. We're gonna have a meshy good time. So, you planted them in a circle. Oh, I read, I, you know, I saw a posting on Facebook, something about that where they were like, put it into a circle and um, leave one of the openings and then you have like a secret garden space to be able to go into. And that looked really neat too. My concern is I don't know if I have the proper amount of sun um, to be able to grow them. I'm trying to plant, I have four blueberry bushes in the front yard. So I did plant a bunch of um, sunflower seeds there this time in the hopes that it would attract pollinators and it would encourage the birds to not eat my blueberries this year. That's the theory. <laughs> so when you're folding these, you're just gonna fold them down into a triangle, okay? Put the tips together and then just squeeze them in and you get this nice little rose petal shape here, all right? and then just hold on to them and stick them on in there. So that's about it. Oh, do they, Becky? We're at in Ackworth. Technically we're Ackworth, but we're not um, the city of Ackworth. Like our, our address is Ackworth, but we're not in the city. So we don't get to enjoy the perks of the city of Ackworth. But we don't get to enjoy the perks of Kennesaw either. I'm like, we're screwed either way. So it's like we got left out totally. All right, let me get this guy going here. I love roses. They're simple, they're easy, they're beautiful. And honestly, you really can't screw up on them. Um, I think, first of all, no rose is perfect in the first place. So with that being said, they each come out unique and different. So, um, this, I don't think I've heard of that. Sheila, where are you at? You're having bad storms now? Where, where are you at? Is it Peachtree? Um, this one right here, sweetheart, Linda, this one, just simple. It's, it's a 10, it's a 10 inch roll that I cut to nine inches and then just bring it down to the tip. So basically, you're making similar to a triangle, but because this isn't a 10 by 10, you don't get that full triangle shape. Like you get more of an arc and a curve here. Um, and then you can just squeeze the bottom together like so. And that's it. Yeah, I'm starting from the outside. So I'm working on the outside, working my way in right here. All right. Mainly because I don't like my mesh um, pulling against each other. And I tried to do it from the inside and it just started pulling. So I don't like that. All right, I'll fix all of that later. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, Dakula. 
<sighs> okay, here we go. All right, and I've got my little black dots here on purpose because that way I can remember exactly where they go. <laughs> and if you purchase a um, one of the kits from me, I will put the little black dots on there for you so you don't have to sit here guessing exactly where I did it at. So I'll take that part where you don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> I know I love this metallic blue. It's a metallic royal blue. Um, I'm actually about to get ready to place a rather large order for all the red, white, and blue. So if it's gone, you'll know why. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. But I figure I better jump on it before it's gone completely. That's what happened to me with some of the others. Now I have tons of white poly burlap. I have tons of yellow poly burlap. I'm good on 21 inch. I'm good on 10 inch. I should have enough to last me at least through June, maybe. I think. I hope. We'll see. So, yeah, I am a little tired today. It's, it's been a long, it's been a long day. I've actually been tired the entire week. Only now I kind of know a little bit why. So, but it's just one of those things. You got to keep going. You got to keep moving. Um, you know, life doesn't stop. You can't stop. So, although Barbara's always telling me to take it easy. So, hi, Miss Lisa. How are you? All right, we're almost done with the blue on this row, so then we're going to switch to red and white, which kind of reminds me of a little peppermint. All right, we're going to stick this in here. Okay, plus it feels like it's really hot in here. I, th I don't think it's menopause, so I know I'm pre, but I think it's... Um, I think it's just me being sunburnt, probably. <laughs> All right. I'm liking it so far already. Okay. All right. So we've got this in place. There we go. This mesh came from Craft Outlet. So that's pretty much where I get majority of my mesh. Um, I like my little reward points on there. So, okay. So I'm thinking that this row is it. Let me double check. Here's the top. Okay. I don't know. I may want to do... No, I'm going to keep it this way. I'm going to keep it this way. We're going to stay this way. We're going to do red and white the rest of, way, rest of the way around. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I had to think for a second there. All right, we'll just go ahead and pull some of these out. I even hand painted those cute little stars over there too. All right, so since I've got the white there, I'm thinking I'm gonna do a red next. So, because you see how the white's right here on the outside? I kinda want a red right in front of it. We'll see, okay. So now we're gonna put this one in here and call it a day. And y'all, don't forget to stock up on those flower boards. We're getting closer towards summer now. Um, it's going to start going, I'm telling y'all. So you can use code SPARKLES and take 10% off on the website. And just have a field day. Alright, let me get the white going here. Awesome sauce. Okay, and slide it in there. It's easy peasy. And guys, I'm thinking... Um, I had a request to do a sunflower, um, to do a sunflower live, so I'm actually thinking that I am going to do one on Saturday. I have to think about the time tonight, and then I'll post it sometime tomorrow afternoon. But I'm going to do it on the small board, because even though the kits that I offer are on the large board, um, I want to do the small board just because, well mainly because I was asked to make a donation to a place. So that's actually why I'm going to do the small board. And then I figure I kind of want to see how big it's going to end up turning out as well because I may end up starting to offer those as well. Plus I've got a craft fair coming up, ladies, um, in a couple of weeks. And I was planning on taking smaller wreaths with me. 
versus the larger ones that I typically bring. All right, so basically I'm just alternating back and forth, red, white, red, white, red, white. So, yeah, I know it, it's already, like I said, you can't go wrong with a rose. You really can't. All right, I've got my red, so let's get our white. Okay, here we go. I'm going to slide that in there. I'm kind of waiting to see what this storm's all about because Sunday's was actually disappointing, at least over here. But at least we got lots of good rain, which helped the garden a lot. So I need to still install a drip irrigation system out there. <sighs> so much work to do. Uh, summer's coming. I do not feel like carrying that um, sprinkler, manual sprinkler thingy around the yard like I did yesterday and literally had to keep reminding myself to go back there every 15 minutes to move it to a new location. Ugh, takes forever. How many wreaths am I bringing to the craft fair? This one is a smaller one. It's um, at a retirement home. So with that being said, I'm probably only going to bring probably 20 because I've also got some other knickknacks. Um, Taws are your shorter ties. <laughs> I do. With the new boards, Beth, I find it easier to work outside in. And the main reason why is because I'm just doing this outside one. I don't know. Everybody's got a different way that they want to do it. Um, I think it really just depends on you. You know, for me, I like doing it outside in. So, that's what I said. Like, you can't go wrong with it. But, yeah, I'm going to bring 20 um, to the craft fair. I mean, to the fair. But I've also got some knickknacks, smaller items that I'm bringing with me. Um, and the wreaths are going to be smaller too because with them being in a retirement home they're on a fixed budget um, they don't have as much to spend and they're not looking to spend 60 bucks on a wreath especially when you think about the fact that they don't have a lot of storage either now there's another craft fair that I'm doing in September and for that one I am probably going to bring 50 with me that day. So, yep. That's typically what I bring to a craft fair is about 50. And then the next day, if I need to bring more, then I can bring more. So, I am, oh, no, I'm sure Lori sees me using my short ties. <laughs> Four inches. <laughs> Uh, I know. I'm obstinate. I'm stubborn. I love my four inch ties. I can't help it. I also can't help the price. It's just so attractive. So, and they work just fine. There's a few times that a six inch zip tie would have been nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Aw, Cheryl, I don't think so. You ought to just, you know, Cheryl, you ought to just send me a couple of pictures as you're working through, let me see what you're doing. I mean, I, I, I haven't arranged this yet, so there's pieces sticking out. None of these are gonna be sticking out later. I'm gonna adjust everything. But for me, I just like working outside in. Um, I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> okay, so that finishes that second row. So we've got what would have been our leaf row finished. We've got this row finished right here. Now we're gonna move into here, okay? So, let's flip it back over, and then I'm gonna show y'all something that I do to the middle, too. Um, and I know people don't do this anymore, but I'm just anal about it, and I prefer to keep doing it. Um, call me stubborn. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, Linda, um, Everybody has a different preference. When I do workshops, I see some people, um, I show them with the tails in, but I see people doing it with the tails out, and that's what's more comfortable for them, and it works. It worked just fine in the workshop. So I wouldn't necessarily change that. I think that one's all on preference. So that, that's, that's how I feel on that one. Okay, we're gonna get this one here. 
And again, I've got my black dots, and if you order a kit from me, I'm gonna put the black dots on there for you. They'll be tiny, don't worry, they won't show through. Um, but that way, if you're trying to find the exact location like I did, then that way you'll have it easy peasy. So, how do I travel with that many wreaths? Yeah, you're right, Linda. Um, they don't have as much space for large wreaths. Exactly. And that's what I learned the last time I went. And I took these humongous wreaths, some of them even 36 inches. And they're like, oh, it's beautiful. You know, and, and I heard several comments of, I don't have space for it. And there were a few, you know, price-wise, and that, that's okay, too. So, lesson learned. That's why I plan on doing everything that I'm taking to them on my small flower boards, which is why to Saturday Night's Live, Saturday Night Live, <laughs> oh, God, um, Saturday Night Live, um, that one I'm going to do a sunflower on the small board. So, because I, I do plan on having that one as a donation anyway. Um, and it gives me a chance to do the live and to experiment how it would be with the small board at the same time. So, um, Christina, how much are the kits? Oh boy, I worked on about three different kits today and I can't remember the price for the world of me. I want to say somewhere around 34 or 35 and it comes with everything that you need already pre-cut. Um, all the ties, the board, the markings on the board, and then if I do any changes, then those will be on there as well, because I'm about to hit those. I have about, I have several people who've already placed orders, so I'm about to get to their orders tomorrow. So, but it'll come with everything that you need to get it done. So, all right, let me get that in there. You gotta be a little more careful when you move towards the middle, and I just kinda move these into position a little bit. Here you go. I love it, and I love the metallic colors. Guys, if you're gonna do this patriotic wreath, um, the patriotic rose, I really strongly recommend that you spend a little extra money and you get the metallic mesh. This one's iridescent, um, but that you get something with a little bit of extra shine to it. That's just my personal opinion. So, how many rolls of mesh does this take? Ooh, slightly over one total roll. I mean, you're going to need blue, you're going to need red, you're going to need white. So, you'd have to, if you're going to go to Craft Outlets, you've got to order all three of them. Um, but in total, if it was just one mesh, one roll, it would be one roll plus some extras because I did do some changes to it. So, all right, so since it's getting a little tight in here to put in, what I do at this point is when I go to put this one in, I just kind of fold it in a little bit because again, I don't like any pulling. And I cut all of these with a rotary cutter. I didn't, first of all, it's metallic. The foil is going to melt with the heat sealer, impulse sealer. Um, but fraying doesn't show up anyway because the only part that you're seeing is the curved part right here. Um, and I cut them pretty carefully and I changed vendors, um, you know, because I got a few nasty rolls and so I did change a few. Changed some places that I got certain things from. All right, I've got two more black dots in there. So fold it, stick it in. It's like one of those menstrual cups. Fold it, stick it in. I've never used one, so don't ask me about it. I just made the analogy. <laughs> All right, PJ, if you would love a kit, definitely go to my Etsy shop, Sparkles in the ATL. The last time I checked, which I saw an Etsy thing pop up a second ago, and I don't know what that can be. Sometimes it's a conversation. Um, but there were four kits left. For this batch once those four kits are gone if it shows sold out send me a private message on Etsy and um, I'll put you on the wait list because I've got to get that batch done before I start opening it up again and anybody on a wait list gets first dibs so all right we're gonna stick this in here that is the last blue although I have a whole bunch of extra blues cut over there so I bet you there's another row let's see all right, it's already looking pretty. I love all this color, oh my gosh. 
and lights. Yes, I love my lights. <laughs> I should have put lights on this one. Hmm, <clears throat> booger nuts. Ah. Oh, hindsight 2020. I can still work it. I can figure it out. I'm not too... Actually, I can do the lights on there still. Not worried. Hardy har. All right. Okay. So we're at the point now. I finished with my black dots over here. So now I'm going to jump back to um, the red and white peppermint. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too worried about it because um, I've done it before where I've just, you know what, and if this has ever happened to you and you're like, oh my God, I got to take the whole thing. No, you don't. Okay. Um, one, you can kind of put your hands through the different folds and pull the string of lights up that way. Or honestly, what I've done to some of these is I've just woven the string of lights towards the outside anyway. So it works the same way. You get the same, I mean, you get the same effect. All right, let's take a look. I put a white together, but I don't know if I want to use a white over here. Okay, so I'm looking over here, and there is already a white in the back, in the row behind it. So I actually want to start this row with the red, okay? Because if you look at it, you know, you've got red, white. I kind of want to go back to the red. So, no, this was cut with a rotary cutter, because anytime. Um, if I'm doing a huge large quantity, first of all, I'm not going to use the impulse sealer. I'm going to use a rotary cutter if it's large quantity. Um, the other time I use a rotary cutter is when I'm doing a fold like this where all you're going to see is this curve in the first place. None of the sides over here are going to be sticking out. So it's not going to be an issue. Now I realize why I'm so freaking hot. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I can be so dense. Um, it's this freaking white light over here. <laughs> I was like, why is it so hot in here? And I'm right under the air conditioner. Now I know there's an incredibly bright light that you guys can't see that I had turned um, to stand behind the Mevo to get better lighting. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna pull the white out that we had originally started. Y'all, I love these roses, plus they're so easy. I can't wait to try a rose on um, one of the small boards too. I plan on doing that this weekend, just so I can see what it looks like. And y'all, I've got some cool ideas coming out for Halloween. Yes, I'm already on Halloween. <laughs> I've actually already started getting Halloween orders, so not many. They're trickling in, they're trickling. I like a trickle, so trickles are nice. As long as they're not coming from me and my pants, trickling is okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. I slide that in here. And from here on out, I'm only using red and white. So um, right now, we finished up the outside row with the leaves, and that's a mix of all three. This row right here is also a mix of all three. And so is this one that we're finishing up over here. But all these inside ones, the, the two inside ones, are all going to be red-white. So, and I'm going to play it by ear because I may end up changing something. Where would I put this little sucker at? There we go. Hold on, wait a minute. Do, 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 do. I think that's it for that row. I'm double-checking before I move on because I don't want to screw up. Yep, that's it for that row. Awesome sauce. Okay, in that case, here we go. We move to the inside. All right, we're almost done, y'all. Probably 10, 15 minutes, I'm guessing. So, I love Halloween, too. All are sold out with 20 in their carts. You will be busy. Well, Linda, that is why I did not um, put, like, that's the reason I didn't do something crazy like put 20, 30, or 50 um, kits available um, because I had a feeling this would happen. And if I'm going to do an order, I want to make sure that it gets out in the time frame that I put in the actual um, order because I put in the description how long it's going to take. Um, and I just want to make sure I can stick to it. So I decided that I wasn't going to increase the quantity until I get this first batch done 
which the first batch will ship out. Um, I am looking at half the batch shipping out Friday and the remainder of the batch, the labels will be printed Sunday to ship out Monday. Um, and that includes the people who ordered um, Tuesday is when I'll open up the slot again. So, um, how do I get to? How do I get them to sell it? Please mark your board with all the. <laughs> Christina, you are an absolute trip. <laughs> oh, it's a peppermint swirl. It's just going back and forth, back and forth. But the blue, I'm definitely marking the blue for all of them because um, I know people want that guidance. And then some people don't, you know, some people are like, nah, I don't want the blue in that spot. I want the blue somewhere else. Well, that's okay too. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing, honey. So how do I get people to buy them? Peggy, um, I don't know. I just do. <laughs> um, no, I just, you know, it, it's been word of mouth around the area for a while. Um, and, you know, people have to get to know you and people have to get to know your work. Um, and then once they see it a couple of times, then people start ordering. And all it does is, you know, it takes one, it takes two, you know, and then it just keeps spreading. A lot of my orders happen online. So, and I do ship um, outside of the country as well. So that obviously helps. You know, I've shipped to several other countries. All right, we're going to go back to our little red over here. I'm making a debate on the inside. That's the reason I'm a little, I'm hesitating every now and then because um, I'm debating what I want to do, if I want to follow the pattern or if I want to change it because I'm just kind of having fun. So the last time I did a custom, you know, the customer asked exactly one of the exact placements. So. I'm just kind of going, feeling it, feeling it out. So, all right, we've got about three more in this row and then we're moving to the inside. So, oh, hello, Miss Barbara. How are you? I was wondering about you, girl, because I saw your post um, yesterday and I got worried about you. How are you feeling today? You were on my mind for sure. Kind of like Georgia on my mind. <laughs> Um, shipping, it depends if I'm shipping through Etsy. No, Etsy takes care of it for me. Um, if I am not shipping through Etsy and it's like a Facebook order or something like that, then yeah, I use pirate shipping. That's my next option. So, it's easy. It's not hard. All right, almost done with this row here. I'm gonna put our little red in here. See how the whole thing's starting to tighten up now? And this is the new board, so we're gonna see what it looks like. I may make some adjustments onto where I place the blue at next time. So we shall see. And I'm just gonna kinda keep these in a general spot. So I'll fix everything afterwards, bring out the hot glue gun if I need to, put a few little dabs. So not a whole lot, just a little bit. Oh, a migraine headache. I'm sorry, sweetie. <sighs> All right, here we go. I'm actually going to make a version of this um, I'm trying to come up with an idea. Well, on Saturday's live, it's actually going to be a patriotic sunflower. But I've been looking for three materials in particular because I know they exist and some store must carry it. Um, Amazon, you've got to be careful with Amazon sometimes because kind of like um, you see people selling unique in the creek boards on there for outrageous prices. Um, same thing happens for other products too. Look how full it already is, guys. I haven't even fixed it yet. All right, we are on to the last four on the inside. And this is where, let me turn it back to the way it's gonna look. Let me make a decision here. 
if you ship to a business address would this hold up outside under porch cover yes it would and um, yes anything if I sell a finished wreath my finished wreaths are always sealed in the first place um, so I always spray a sealer on them um, the boards themselves are waterproof you know this the mesh the mesh is going to hold up fine if it's under cover if you put it out into full blasting sunlight I mean like anything else it's going to fade over time that beautiful garland I had on my front door that I still have the the green looks fine the burlap of course looks fine right as a matter of fact the burlap base I'm going to use again when I tear the whole thing apart in about a week or two um, but the orange is already faded so you know I mean that's what you get when you have full full on sun but yes this is perfectly fine underneath the covered area absolutely so okay we're gonna go to the inside and this is where I was debating what on earth am I gonna do so with that being said you guys need to move all right hold up I'm still thinking about how I want to do this particular piece so yeah I think next time I am going to move that over a little more all right I want this one here and I want this one here and this needs to move as well and that needs to move as well there we go all right I like that better okay um okay so I was debating going candy cane all the way in I'm not I'm gonna go back all right so you definitely I'm gonna use one we'll take out the white pieces two all right let's pull this out over here three oh you're gonna love that impulse sealer I love my impulse sealer <laughs> four and this is uh, how do I want to do this one I'm thinking I'm thinking I may based off of my experience with the last one I made I think I'm gonna double up that inside all right so that's two four five six um, seven and eight I am doubling up the inside we're gonna try it a little bit um, I don't know if I'm gonna double up all four of them or if I'm only going to double up two of them we'll, we'll find out in a second as we move this big giant pile of mesh to a different location and bring back the masterpiece <laughs> okay um, I'm thinking all right when you're doing the inside four I'm thinking what I want to do here is double it up all right so I've got one and actually what I think I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna go ahead and zip tie this end over here by the way your teeth make a perfect tightener all right we're gonna pull another one out and both of these are going to go into the same spot there we go okay all right so let's go ahead and put them together there we go all right and we're gonna see how this goes but this is just based off of my last experience it needed to be done all right we're gonna fold this in fold this in so we can slide it on in there there we go hold them together and I'm gonna slide it on into that little hole right there I don't know if I'm gonna do all of them yet <sighs> let's see how it looks and that'll give me a good indication um, I think I want to do all of them all right let's get the other ones ready there we go okay an impulse sealer patty um, I'll have to show you when I am done because it's fate this thing's facing down right now so I don't want to have to change it 
but it's it's like um, basically you know how people seal those plastic bags there you go see somebody already said it <laughs> it's just basically the vacuum not the vacuum but the plastic bag sealer heat sealer and you know we use it for mesh so that's basically it hi ho thank you so much it's always an experiment like this time around I decided oh I think I'm gonna double up the center why did I start on the outside instead of, on the outside instead of in to out because I'm left-handed probably no just because that's what feels more comfortable to me I don't have the mesh pulling on each other so much um, and for me it just works so all right Again, we're going to fold this in right here, fold this in right here. That way we can slide it on in there. And then we're going to let the go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. There we go. I'm so glad tomorrow's Friday. Oh my God. I think I've got teacheritis. I'm ready for the end of the year. So, and praying no more doctor's appointments, my God. I don't have anything else planned. I don't need to see anybody for anything. All right, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get the other two. Mainly because I like the inside of my rose wreaths a little thicker um, than typical wreaths the way that other people. I, like, I just like the centers to make sure that they're nice and full. All right, there we go. And the kits will come that way too. So you'll have enough mesh in the kits to make sure that the center is nice and full. If you choose to do it the same way. You don't have to do it the same way. Most people, when they do the rose wreath, they are only going to put four more pieces in on the outside. What I'm doing is I'm doing double pieces for each spot that's on the inside right there. All right, put them together, fold that down, fold that down, okay, and slide it on in there. There we go. And I think it's a personal preference. All right, make sure when you're sliding it in there that since these ones have zip ties on them, that you're putting the, um, make sure that the zip ties actually get in there underneath the ones that you're tying them to. If that makes any sense at all. I'll show you all in a minute what I mean. Okay, and we'll fix this mess in a minute. We've got one more. And then it's fixy, fixy up here to uh, fix her upper time. And I see one little guy got out, so I'm gonna have to fix that guy in a minute. Probably he snagged on my shirt and popped out. So we'll get him taken care of. All right, let's snip this guy off. All righty. I don't know if I set up live alerts on this one or not. I don't know how many chat works with the broadcasting. Um, so I don't think I set it up on this particular video, but if you go back into the other ones that I've put, one of the other videos, or if you go back to one of the other posts on the rosary, on the video and the kit, you should be able to find it and be able to post there. All right, and then it should accept the live comment. I know if you're in the Unique in the Creek group, um, you know, if you click on the post that's directly in there, see how this little guy popped out? I'm going to fix him. Um, if you go in there and click on the post, it will take you directly to it, and then you can just comment in that particular spot. And once you've done it one time, you don't have to sit here doing it every single time again. Just one time. I love it. I love sharing. Sharing is caring, y'all. Okay. Alright, so we're going to do that in a second. This little guy's bothering me. Apparently, I did not.